This is the maker bit, which is a shield or hat, depending on which word you want to use, for the micro bit. Just plug the micro bit in, and then all the ports that are on the micro bit, which are all those little spaces. I think there's 25 total. Some of them aren't numbered because there's like three ground ports at the end. And there's three voltage ports, one right on either side of the voltage. Um, plug it in, and all of those ports are now easily accessible. Now, what the maker bit does, it actually duplicates all of them, uh, so you can use, utilize them different ways. First, uh, pins 5 through 16, this component here turns those into touch pins. And you plug this nice ribbon cable in, and you put little touch points, metal things on here. Hook up connect, hook up uh, conductors to them, and that's a touch input. Here are some analog inputs, A0 through A4, because those are the analog pins on the micro bit, 0, 1, 2, 3, and 4. Um, again, there is a um, ribbon cable for it, or you could just use a double two, uh, you know, double uh, female and female kind of thing, and that would be more to input sensors. And then here you have pins for LEDs, and this goes pin 5 through 16, which is pretty much the rest of the um, micro bit. So touch 5, pin 5, would you know, it's logically your code would say if I touch 5, turn uh, LED 5 on. Uh, there's two of them versus one of this is these take one pin per number. These take two pins. You need a positive and a negative for each LED. And it comes with cable, ribbon cable that has LEDs on it, a set of red, a set of blue, and then a uh, couple of blank cables that have just um, empty slots at the end for you to add on um, your own LEDs that you might buy. It comes with a bag of LEDs, so. Now, there are a couple more pins on there, and that's usually like something for I squared C, which is an SCL and SDA, and that actually shows up on this uh, groove port, grove port, um, is one of the, a couple set, a couple of those. I forget. I think that's nineteen and twenty. Seventeen, eighteen just don't seem to figure in here. Um, and a groove port, there's three of them. They're really for to connect sensors, or this one can be dedicated to connect I squared C um, kind of components. Uh, this groove port does three volts, this one does five. So if I have a sensor that, that needs five volts, like a distance sensor, I gotta plug it in over here. If it only needs three, I can plug it in here. If we have these nice little groove connectors. Grove connectors. I keep mispronouncing that. You got those nice grove connectors. Um, now, if you don't have those, that's okay. For example, because this is on A0 and A1. Well, A0 and A1 are right here also with voltage and ground. So these A0 through 4 is also right here. This is really more for input. These are for outputs. And then here, that P5 through P16 are right here. These are 5 volts, though, here. Here, they're three volts, they've got a resistor on them, they're designed for LEDs, because LEDs really want about three volts. Uh, so here's the you know, P5 through 16. Again, if you're plugging in analog stuff, you plug them in in the A. If you're plugging in stuff that's uh, digital, either or, you can plug them in here. For example, NeoPixels, I can plug into either and uh, run them that way. There's also a place for motors, so plug in motors with motor controller in it. You can run two motors that are bi-directional or four motors that are just one direction. Now, the trick with that four motors with one direction, you can only run two motors at a time because of the way the pins are um, utilized. There is the, oh, final thing, power. Uh, battery plugs in with a barrel jack. They recommend nine volts. You say anything above four and a half, anything above three, the micro bit needs three,
But again, if you're going to be running servos, like I can plug servos in, uh, servos and analog things, I'm going to plug servos in here. Um, they take, you know, they're going to need just a little bit more than that three. So that way, these are going to get like 3.3 .3 or so. Um, LEDs need five, or NeoPixel strips, NeoPixels, NeoPixel strips need five. So this is going to get five. And that's how it gets five, is you plug something in that's more than three, 4.5, 6, 9, um, and it does voltage regulation. It sends three to the micro bit, because that's all the micro bit wants. Um, and then it splits it up, puts five here, 3.3 .3 here. I don't know what voltage it puts to the motor. I think it's got a variable thing, but up to a certain amount, I'm pretty sure. There's the maker bit. Look it up if you want some more ideas.